It is the 3rd of December, 2020, and it is a Thursday, right? I believe that's what it is. I know yesterday I told you about my plans for yesterday. Well, there were plans. <laughs> Doesn't mean I get to finish them. So, again, this wall over here, um, I'll start over there, is going to have uh, shelves. Remy, quiet. Good grief. I have shelves here so I can get rid of all this stuff off the floor of a hell. A lot of this stuff can go into the dumpster. But uh, like all this stuff in here, I want out of there. Uh, I'm going to have to move that cupboard over that way, maybe right up against the uh, uh, plug. But there's a lot of junk over here that needs to either get off the shelf, off the ground anyway. Like there's a guitar. Here's a guitar, and here's an amplifier. You know, stuff like that. What? Yeah, well, actually, those go, go in the basement. Uh, Weather-wise? Weather-wise, it's, um, it's kind of cool. Let's see what it is. You guys still there? <laughs> It's 39, 37 degrees, the degrees, 37 to degrees. So it was 39 degrees, 39 to degrees Fahrenheit. But uh, yeah, it's cooled down a little bit, but it's not bad really, because the wind's not blowing ridiculously. Um, Kathy's gone, obviously. My car is down there, as you'll see. And uh, <clears throat> total overcast. Um, Oh shoot, I gotta turn that light off in the garage. <clears throat> no sense keeping it on. How do I feel? How do I feel? You're saying, hey Dirk, how do you feel? How do you feel, Dirk? You know, you had that COVID thing going on, right? All last week and part of this week, right? Yeah, well, anyway. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> I asked Kathy about that too. Why do I feel all washed out? Um, <clears throat> uh, because really, Saturday, last Saturday, and it's Thursday today, um, I wasn't feeling too bad, but um, you're all washed out, and I, that's what I feel. I feel like I'm washed out. So, <clears throat> that's why I'm kind of grumpy, I guess. So, otherwise, the yard looks okay because all the leaves have been blown away. How sweet is that? Let's turn some lights on in the shop. I did some work in here, <clears throat> off and on a little bit. Let's turn more lights on. Bingo, bingo, there we go. Um, don't plan on working on the Corvette for a while. Why not? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just need a change of pace. Let me turn some more lights on. I did some shopping, guys. Oh, yeah, I did some shopping. So, let me show you what I did. What I purchased. To learn more. Uh, turn this thing down a little bit. It's weird. Every time I hit the volume down, it goes to another band. So it's usually on. It's usually on uh, AM, so that I have my uh, talk show on. <laughs> but when I hit the down button, oh, there goes to FM. So, what, uh, let me show you what I purchased. Which means, let's see what the, the temperature in here isn't bad. It's like 43 degrees. <clears throat> That's not bad. That's workable. But when you're not feeling so good, yeah. So I'm opening the door. I'm gonna get my purchases. Oh man, check this out guys. Now it isn't huge, but uh, anytime I, I purchase something, I, you know, I think it's kind of a cool do, cool thing. So, I got toilet paper in there, but it's the real cheap stuff. Uh, just need to try a few things, you know. 
So I did buy a, a Milwaukee drill motor. Why, you ask? Because you already have one, don't you, Dirk? I, yes, I do. I do have another one. But uh, how cool is it if you have two? Because let's say if you're drilling, if dr you're drilling stuff, let me shut that door. Um, you know, you first I, when you're screwing stuff, uh, typically I like to drill a little pilot hole, and then uh, you run the screw through. The problem is when you have only one drill motor. I had two, but then for some reason Derek took the other one, like he's going to use it, right? It sits in his garage all day. Ha ha ha! And uh, there it sits. So I thought, you know what? If I go ahead and buy another one, everything will be cool. So what I've been looking for is, oh, this thing here. These are uh, this is a wind chime, but. Uh, this thing is so noisy. This is so noisy. It'll even drive Chinese people crazy. And this is in the United States of America. This thing is so noisy. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to do with it. It would drive people crazy if I hung it out in my yard. So this big old giant thing, I taped it all up. And now I need to find a place to store it. Hi. And I really can't get rid of it because it was purchased for me for Father's Day. Let's see what I can do with it. Come on. Um, what to do with it? I don't know. You know what? For right now, I could just set it right here. So it's out of the way. In the end, what I'd like to do is either put it upstairs or... Uh, <clears throat> uh, up in the shelf over here. I just yesterday I put that roller thing up there and I used a small these stairs here, these stair steps. Thought I was gonna fall backwards. I don't know. I must have left my large, my 10 foot ladder in uh, Mike and Christie's house. So, so this is one of my drill motors that I purchased a while ago. Very nice. Brushless. Um, it's not a fuel, so I don't know what the difference between a fuel and a brushless is. I just don't know. So, <clears throat> what was cool was instead of having to switch your bits in your, you know, all the time, which is a real pain in the old yin yang and the old brown eye, if you know what I'm talking about. Let me see, make sure you can see me. Am I even taping? Yes, I am videoing. Hello, hello, hello. So, very, very, very nice. Can you even see me? I go up a little bit. There we go. I think that's going to be a little better. So, the thing is, I really... don't need another battery or a battery charger. So I don't know if this thing's got a battery charger, the new one. Um, so let's take a look. Ah, oh, mama mia, it's heavy metal, heavy metal. Uh, this thing's been kind of damaged a little bit, the box. So let's see if it damages the part itself. And here was here's here's what's cool about this. It was only ninety-nine dollars, guys. Ninety-nine dollars at Home Depot. This was the last one that was there. Um, that's kind of cool. Oh boy, it's got a bag. Got a bag? You know, you always try to buy stuff. You know, maybe I should start buying stuff on Amazon a little bit more. So 
So here is a drill motor, and it's identical to the one I got from what I can see. It says brushless, it doesn't say fuel. So if anybody knows anything the difference between fuel and brushless, let me know. Um, it's got this stupid thing, this is coming off. And sure enough, it's got a battery with it and a stupid battery charger. So this one will go to Mike Van Beek's house because I already have two of them in the shop. Let's see if there's any juice in this battery. So this is a very small battery, which is okay because I've got a million batteries already. Oh, okay, this one, this one is not a hammer drill. That's kind of cool. This, this one here is a hammer drill too. You can use it as a hammer drill or a screwdriver. So in other words, it'll, it's got slip. Let's see if there's even a charge in here. How sweet is that, guys? So, it's almost identical. Both of our brush lists, both of our not um, fuels. I'll find out what fuel stands for and let you know. I'll keep the box in case something happens for now. Another thing I purchased, um, a while ago I purchased a, uh, uh, a um, stud finder. The only problem is every time I walk by it, it would beep. So anyway, and with everything, I have so many tools and I have so many places to hide them. I don't know what happened to it. So this again is the Zircon, the exact same one I had last time. So Kathy says, if you, I find it, I have to give it away to one of my boys. When I say boys, I mean <laughs> son-in-laws. Because <laughs> uh, our boys, they don't, they don't use this kind of stuff. Derek might, but I think Derek has got one of these already. Uh, let me put you back in your stand here. You guys going to be okay? Oh, by the way, William had was tested for COVID and it was uh, checked out negative. Which is kind of bad because uh, you like to get it done with. However, uh, there are reports out there now. How truthful is it? I don't know. I'm just telling you what I heard. If you push here, a little button, you can hear it clicking. That activates it. Then you just kind of first you put it on a spot, activate it, and then you run it. It'll find the studs for you. Problem is, this was only nineteen dollars. Nineteen dollars. All right, get it? Nineteen. Somewhere around here it says battery not included. Well, Dirk, how much is a battery? It can't be that much, right? One little nine volt battery, right? Dirk, it can't be that much, right? Dirk, hello, hello, dude. This was $19. This stupid battery. <laughs> This stupid battery is nine dollars, and it's very powerful. Don't lick it. When we were kids, we used to lick those things all the time. Negative, positive. Negative is that one, positive is that one, negative is that one, negative, positive. 
trends up to an algorithmic basis in the five cities in the five states. It's a lithium battery, it says. Ah! There. Stud scan. So, anyway. There we go. Got another stud finder. So, uh, my plan is to take... Um, A while ago, I bought a bunch of one by two, one by two, one by twos, and I'm gonna screw these things or one by ones or two by twos, two by twos. These are two by twos. One, two, three, four. I guess I can buy more. I'll buy a bunch more because they're so cheap. <laughs> I'm all about cheap, and I'll screw those against the wall in the garage. And then I found this board here. This is a uh, almost a three-quarter inch plywood, uh, exactly 19 inches, right? And then I got this one, these two here, one, two, same size, and those are like 22 inches. I can sh sh shear those down to 19 inches. Then I have check this out, people. I got these panels here. And these are like 22 inches also, so I can shear them down to uh, 19 inches. <clears throat> so these boards here I got from Lear Corporation years ago when they had an auction. Got rid of a bunch of their stuff. So I bought a bunch. And uh, I made, remember I made these uh, um, temporary shelves? Yeah, right there. Oh, and here's the other panel from that board there so um, <clears throat> oh I got a bunch of other boards over there see them shorter ones four foot footers so I got plenty of boards for the shelving now I see I do need some boards for the uh, other cross members so today I, ha I hope to clear the, the, the garage area which would be the north wall that garage area and then I can start um, Cutting the boards, which means getting the uh, um, sawhorses out. And let me see if, if I, hopefully I didn't lend out my my cordless saw. Not there yet? Uh, uh, uh. There it is. This is a very handy saw, guys. If you guys need to buy a saw, don't borrow it from me. Just buy one. They're pretty relatively cheap, um, cordless, and uh, voila! You got yourself a nice saw, and it's extremely powerful. So let me go ahead and uh, start clearing up the garage area. Tomorrow's Friday. Kathy works Friday. That's a bummer. But hey, just one of those things. You young people need to keep working. <laughs> so it's going to be my birthday this uh, this month, by the way, the end of this month, which will put me at 67 years old. Wow, 67. How sweet is that? So I'm going to start grinding my names on these things, guys, because. Uh, Cause that's what I like to do. Let me just try it once. I'm just curious if it'll really work. Oh, I don't even know if my little grinder works. Say hello to my little friendly grinder here. I've had this thing for like 30 years. So <clears throat> it's called a uh, Dremel, but it's a cordless. What reminded me of it as I got the cordless or the battery charger right here. Hello.
see if it works. Ah, 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 oh, oh, there we go. Oh boy. All I wrote under was DTH 2020. Let me see, that was on the plastic or the rubber? I'll go on the, on the uh, I'll do it on the um, die cast. Ah! What a mess. I'll do 2020. That was a mess. I just needed a lot sharper bit. Well, that looked pretty good. Let me see if I can write it better on this one. If I can find a nice spot. DTH, I guess. This was 2018. This thing pulls all over the place. It sucks! Horrible. Anyway. I plug this back in here. Yeah. So, that didn't work worth the crap. So that's going to be really nice to have two uh, drill, drill motors. Um, they'll, they'll be very helpful. Man, I just feel like crap, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and um, maybe take a little break. So tomorrow, I'll be able to uh, <coughs> start clearing out the garage. And I'll take you along with me there. Uh, it's kind of dark. But, what do you do?